Wilba and all her royal porkitude may truly be the only adventurer worth noting within the Hamlet. I mean, I like Wagstaff, but he's kind of just a better Wilson with an easy-to-overcome set of downsides, who also doesn't really go the extra mile to really shake things up. And Wheeler? She shows a promise with her exclusive items and a rare move mechanic shared really only by Wartox, but although I see massive potential there, I still can't really help my Myself from questioning why she's even in the game at the end of the day. For Wilbur though, things get interesting, and she sure will make the kingdom proud along the way. That is, if she survives long enough. You know, I usually condone the murder of our porky companions, but this might be taking it a bit too far. At least get the barbecue sauce first. Even unlocking Wilba is unique, as experience gained from all your many failures is not gonna do you squat. You need to find a pork city and locate the palace, which is only gonna be on the second island, by the way. Then you proceed to walk through two rooms on the left to find the princess within the souvenir shop. Here, you're gonna find out that she has lost her mother's crown and is in big trouble for doing so. But we can help her by usurping yet another queen, the Queen Womat. Don't fret though, she may look intimidating, but she's honestly one of the easiest bosses in all of Don't Starve history. Give yourself some light for the fight, but more importantly, quickly get some walls up to block a section of the room as you can see here. This is in hopes of trapping additional mats that she will spawn. Heck, hopefully you get both of them on one side. And if you get close to her, the fight is always gonna be on, so be ready. She'll spawn said warriors, and note that you can kill the eggs that will come before they hatch to make things easier, just in case this doesn't really work. But as far as the fight goes overall, she will occasionally cause earthquakes that can be simply avoided like you always do, or better yet, near the back wall. But she also boasts an ability that sees her stunning the player and dealing sanity damage. It's really not too bad, especially if you have the warriors trapped. But make note that apparently, rabbit earmuffs completely negate this attack. But at only 3,500 health, she is going to go down fairly easily. And once she does, the royal crown is going to be yours. However, at the end of the day, you might need to mine her throne to obtain the loot. You will actually look to return the crown to Wilba's mother herself, the queen. And when she does get it, she will unground Wilba so that she can have all the adventures in the world that she wants. But make note, however, that these adventures may be best had during the day, as Wilba's sanity were drained one and a half times faster than normal while in the dark. And with her low sanity levels already, be it at a hundred, you're gonna be going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs really fast and quite frequently if you're not careful. Oh, and for the rest of her stats, she sits at 200 hunger and 150 health. Pretty average, all things considered. Obviously, she's the heir to the hamlet, so the townsfolk will not be taken aback by her picking flowers, taking crops, or anything like that, as compared to the total freakout that they'll have with all of our other survivors. Heck, occasionally, the townsfolk will even give Wilba tribute in the form of resources, because they are a bunch of kiss- I mean, lovely townsfolk, aren't they? Funnily enough, though, this gift mechanic also extends the normal normal pigmen as well, and even wild boars within Shipwrecked, they will be friendly to our girl here in Tolerator. At least, a uh, little better than they would others. Well, but can also munch on monster food without having to worry about the negative effects either. Just don't stuff your face with more than one at a time, unless of course you are wearing her exclusive silver necklace. If you are, expect a minus 6.66 sanity per minute drain, and that might seem odd, but we'll explain why soon. Or better yet, right frickin' now, folks. Wilba suffers from werepigism just like her father, and the form is freaking awesome. Within this form, she is still able to use some items and craft kind of whatever the heck she wants, which that alone is amazing. She can still chop trees or dig up anything she wants with a fury, and heck, she can even mine ore as gathering mechanics do not shy away. And I must say, she does this very efficiently too. You do not have to worry about losing your way as your map is still available and navigation itself, especially at night, is a breeze as where Wilba boasts night vision, increased movement speed, and no sanity loss to the 
Darkness. Absolutely fantastic. If that wasn't enough, her total health jumps to 350, and she actually heals by 0.5 per second. My goodness, man, it just keeps getting better. But to even add to that, her base damage is now the equivalent of a handbat at 59.5. And with her increased movement speed on top of that, she's gonna be cutting things for days. Nope. It ain't over, folks. She is also immune to the freezing winds of winter in this form, and also the summer heat and the blistering sun will have no effect. Heck, man, even the fog is no match. It's honestly pretty darn ridiculous. But note that she will still suffer from poison, so there's that, I guess. The form is amazing, but you must note the downsides. As a monster, the usual applies, so anticipate being attacked by neutral mobs, even your own bloody subjects for Pete's sake. Furthermore, items cannot be equipped, but come on, folks, your hands are the tools in this form, and honestly, they're probably gonna do a better job most of the time. However, the biggest thing, her hunger drains at a ridiculous rate of 400%. So you must be prepared to munch, munch, munch to keep that up. Because you will also lose that health regen if you start starving. And heck, starving in this form is kind of a death sentence. So you gotta be prepared and always be aware if and when you are going to change forms. But if you do fancy a feast, why not make it monster treats? Because eating monster their food items will keep you a were pig for an extra half day, but do expect to be reverted come the end of full moon nights or the apocalypse. Because these are the only times you're going to see yourself revert naturally, because other than that, the form lasts for one day if you do nothing else in it, like eating additional monster meat, that is. Wilba the Royal Adventurer may still need to be tucked in come night, but perhaps she is the one to give the world its true fright. With unique mechanics top to bottom, and honestly just a rare fun element to it all, Wilba truly is one for the ages. Thanks for watching everyone, well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!